You mentioned this concept of margin. So mm-hmm. why, don't, why, don't you, why don't you explain what that's all about? Well, if everyone remembers their their school days with our, our, our lined notebook paper, and there's those little red lines that go down the side, and then there's margin, right? So some of us may have trauma from all of the red pen in the margin on mm-hmm. our papers, right? But what it really speaks to is this picture of there, there's a reason why there's space on that side. It gives us structure. It lets us know where we're supposed to be sort of writing or putting our notes. And then there's space for openness so that other things can go in there, right? And so it's the idea of I build margin into my life. I leave space for things that maybe I don't plan for, right? So things pop up and I go, oh, man. Like personally, I experienced that as a, as a working mom that I feel like I'm sort of cruising. And as long as everybody is where they're supposed to be and everybody is healthy and everything is going as planned – that I'm good. But because I don't feel like I do a good job, so do as I say, not as I do, of building margin into my life, when things don't go as I planned, my stress level increases, right? My stress level increases. I feel more frantic. I feel like I have less control of things. I feel less intentional. I mean, like all of that negative stuff, right? So margin allows us to have space to breathe. It allows us to... um, be more flexible, right? Because if I have a little bit of space, then I, I can be more flexible. I don't feel stressed when something takes 10 to 15 minutes longer than I was expecting. Or if a kid gets sick, right? I go, okay, that's all right, because I've got this space. So it's a, it's a way to give a visual to a concept. In practice, is it as simple and as challenging as working your schedule so that you've got time to allow for these things that come up in life? Like, I don't want people... Like, how do you operate? Yeah, I was going to say, I don't want people to get lost with this idea of like, oh, I just need to build 10 to 15 more minutes into my schedule everywhere. Like, it's not about padding your time schedule. I want you to think of it as a concept, as a way to live your life. Um, this idea of, of self-care or the idea of rest, I mean, when we talk about um, prevention for lots of different serious mental health concerns. One of the things that we talk about is self-care and margin. Do you have this concept built into your life? And it is it is rooted in so much good foundational skill, like healthy skill use is the idea of self-care and and margin or buffer or or you know time spent in relaxation or rest, right? I mean, this is this is pretty, you know, tons of research to support it. I, you know, I would say both on paper and experientially, like this is a huge piece of this.